Today I'm going to show you how you can create consistent characters with AI. You can reuse the same character on all the generations. And this is super useful because if you want to have the same character, you got to make sure it's consistent and you don't have a consistent character. Your character is going to look different on all the generated images. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this to create consistent characters. I'm going to use design and lately design has been my favorite AI tool to generate images and videos. Now, when we are at the homepage of design, we can be scroll down here. You can see consistent character. Let's click on that one. And now we're going to create our character. Now, what if you have multiple characters and you want to have them both in one image? Let's have a look at how you can do that. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can either upload your image and insert character, or we can create an image with our character and add the second one to it. So let's do that. I'm going to go to characters and I'm going to click on consistent character. And here I'm going to select my character. Now, this is the fox that we created before. And this is the new one I made, the raccoon. So the steps are the same. You create a new character. Let's click on the fox first. And what I want to do is I want to make a image with the fox. So I'm going to write fox in a park watching a raccoon standing next to it. That's it. Let's create this first. On the right side, we have the creation. It's done with creating. And now we have to select one of these. Let's pick this one and here you can see we have insert character. So I'm going to go for number two and insert character. Let's click on that one. Then we have on the left side, we can mask. And now we need to select the area where we want to add our second character. So this is the character I just added. So we can either use the lasso, brush or auto. I'm going to use the lasso. This is easier for me to select the area and make sure to select some extra parts around the character so we can select the whole area like that and let's close it. Now we have the selection of our character and here we can choose a character to add to this. Let's click on choose character and now I'm gonna add my raccoon that I just created. Here we have the settings for the raccoon. So here you can change the clothing, but don't change the last part. That is the style of the character itself. So you can change the clothing, but keep the style as it is. And here we can describe the scene. So let's say raccoon profile view looking at Foxy in the park, something like that. And remember, the more detailed your prompt is, the better the result will be. And this is always with making prompts. Make sure it's as detailed as possible to get the best result. I'm going to keep it simple just for the sake of this video. And let's just click on generate. It is done with generating and let's have a look at the results. And here you can see this is exactly my character as I created it. And now I can pick one of these, which I like most. Let's say this one and it's on the canvas. And now I can just simply download this image. On the left side, we can see the menu. And here, when we click choose character, we can either select one of these characters or we can create our own. So let's create a new character. And here we're going to give it a name. Let's name it Fox, for instance. And here you need to import your images. Now, the images that I'm going to use is I'm going to use this image and this one. It's better to have three images, but I have two. I think two will be fine for this one. I have a front view and I have a bit of a side back view. So let's upload these images here. You can upload more images, the more the better. But I think for this one, two images is already enough. And now we just have to click on train and it's going to train this character. And here you can see we have to wait 20 minutes. Now I already uploaded this image before, so let's go to this one. And this is the character. It's the same images that I used. And here you can see the description of the character. Now with this character, now we can generate AI images. And here we can write what do we want to see. So first you see the name of the character. And then I will write, for instance, walking through New York City, lots of cars around, something like that. You can also change the clothing here. So for instance, if you want to change the clothing of your character, let's say I want to have it wearing a green T-shirt. It's going to make that on a character. But don't change the last part because that's the style of the image. So I want to keep that one and the middle part we can change. We can also change the eyes, for instance, etc. 
Here we can set the aspect ratio. I can change it if I want to. You can see I can quickly move this around to a different aspect ratio. This is also pretty neat because I can look at the image how I want to. Let's make it, for instance, four by three, and then just click on generate. And on the right side, you can see the generation is busy with generating. It is done with generating the image and let's have a look at it and look at that. The green t-shirt is there and here you can also see another variation. Now the next step that you could do is you could create variations from this one or you can enhance and upscale. Let's say I want to upscale this image. I will go to upscale here and I will upscale it to 6,000 pixels. So that's pretty big. And then you just click on upscale and it's going to do its job. You can create characters from illustrations, but you can also create characters from photos. So if you have a photo of yourself or someone else and you want to create a character, you can do that too. The steps are the same. So you just upload photos as much as possible because that's the best way. And then you can create a character and use it in AI generated images. Now let's say you don't have a character and you want to create a character from scratch. Let's go back to design. And when we go on the left side to character, we have character sheet. And when we click on character sheet, we can create a character. So let's say I want to create a character. I can here select which style I want to use. Let's go for the design 3D render. Let's say I want to create a Disney lion. And then I'm going to click on generate. And on the right side, you can see it's being generated here. There is the generation. It made a front view and a side view. And that is exactly what you need to create this character. Now you can make a character from this. So just simply click on build character and it's going to make a character. Now let's give it a name. Let's say line and then click on train and it's going to train it as a character. And then you have your own character made from scratch all inside design. Check the link in the description to design. It's really cool to create characters and it's going to save you a lot of time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one.